you touched on this, and I, so I have to ask you the story behind this. You mentioned Hip Hop Hooray. We saw, we saw it on your Instagram. It went viral. It was everywhere. But how did you learn the lyrics to that? And I, are you a hip hop fan? I am totally a hip hop fan. I have, I have to thank my son, Chet Hanks, for that, because in the 90s, uh, he was really into hip hop. Yeah. And um, the, uh, I, it took me a month to learn that song. I had to learn it two lines at a time and then build on those two lines because nothing made sense to me. Like, <laughs> what? what is vamping? What is vamping? I don't know. <laughs> you know, what is OPP? What is OPP? I, mean, yeah. there. Like, I had to go to like Urban Sign Dictionary. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but um, there was nothing about it that had any sort of consistency. So each line was different, each rhythm was different, and I, uh, I had to get it in my body because it just didn't like I could I couldn't figure it out, and it made me have such enormous respect for hip hop because. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to do, and and that's all written. Somebody wrote that. That's flow that they got to yeah. do, but it's also again storytelling. Mm -hmm. And so, and and that storytelling is coming from a very truthful place and something that's very authentic to the songwriter. And that's why earlier when you asked me about genre, it's like it doesn't really matter. Story, uh, you know, country is is really known for storytelling, but every genre has storytelling, and you know. Look at Al Green. I mean, Al Green yeah. even he has amazing stories in his songs. Marvin Gaye, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the Beach Boys. It, it, you name it. They're they're all out there. But there's their stories. And then, mm -hmm. as singer songwriters came into the mix, you know, like in the late '60s, early '70s, and it became very, very personal. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, yeah. You can get me talking about songwriting. I'll be talking about it. <laughs> That sun will never set because I'll be talking about it. <laughs> well, the videos on your Instagram account of you with the hip, hip hop array, so good. You nailed it. You fooled me because it, it seemed to come so naturally. It was awesome. Garrett and yeah. I, my fiance, I was showing him the videos today and he's like, holy crap, she can sing yeah. fast. I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> he said, sing fast. I'm done. Fast. <laughs> <laughs> That's Garrett for you. <laughs> um, so, so I loved it. One last thing before I asked me to come and perform with them live sometime. So as soon as tours they are back, did? Up, oh yeah. And believe me, I'm doing that. I will oh, have to, you have to go on stage and sing hip hop array with naughty. Bunny. <laughs> That's I just want to be in the background waving my hands like they do hey, in the video. Oh, <laughs> hey. Rachel and I will be your hype women in the back. Right. Exactly. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs>